how to develop Wing Chun sensitivity or how to develop your sensitivity or your, wear, your tactile awareness in Wing Chun. Well, in order to have sensitivity and actually feel what's going on, you have to first understand what structure means and to develop your structure, your Wing Chun structure. So if you don't have Wing Chun structure, you're never going to be able to feel where to go, uh, how to flow and get in. And what I refer to this is learning the concept of no mush, no push. In between mush and push is good structure. So check out this video I did with a student of mine. It's a private lesson that I did on exactly that concept. No mush, no push. You aren't mushy where it falls in and you're not pushy where you're trying to push the energy away. This is actually what we talk about in Wing Chun structure. It can be in many different positions. We're just gonna take this one. You've gotta connect your elbow through the lat muscle, okay? The lat muscle pulls the elbow down, the scapula is tucked down under, and now all of a sudden your elbow is a part of your hips. Because of that, if Mark go to head, went ahead and walked forward, okay, don't just lean forward. Uh, Bill mile forward, step, slide. There. What he felt right there was very easy. It's very easy to move me. It feels like I don't weigh much at that point. He's connecting his elbow to his, to the rest of his bones and to the strongest muscles in the body instead of just trying to move me more with the delt. And that's how people, when they're pushing, they do. They use a lot of the delt to do the action. So if you want to take on a bigger, stronger opponent, you have got to learn what it means to have structure. And, uh, you know, most people don't even understand this, this concept. Even if they're doing um, all kinds of different things, whatever they want to call it, they just don't get this. But the idea is no mush. So if I go and push into, into Mark, we don't want any mush. And we're talking about from head to toe, no mush. There's a lot of different places it could be mushy, right? Um, I don't feel too much of a mush here, but there's, you feel it down there. Do you have your ting you, your straight bag? Do you have, you know, we have these elements of good form, starting with low horse. We've got Kim Soot, which is the, the knees clamping in together, coming in together. We've got ting you, which is the straight back. You've got your Mai Zhong, which is your correct elbow. Uh, head up, looks pretty good there. And now, mock lick. Now go ahead and, and go through. Yeah. Okay. So, let me go ahead and do that again. Get those elements of good form. More elbow. Yes. There. Now think forward and through that elbow too. In addition to the elbow connected to the ground, there's a simultaneous connection going into my center. And that is the two, the yin and the yang that you're doing. You're a little bit leaning forward, okay? Now I'm gonna push against you and let's see. That's better than before, you feel that difference? Yeah. Because I think you were missing some of that forward energy yeah. into it too. Yeah. It's not enough to just be rooted. Hey, it's not me. enough to just go into me. You've got to have that simultaneous. Um, most people have too much yang and not enough yin. But as you're doing your journey in Wing Chun, you're going to find that uh, maybe you overdo, you're going to overdo one or the other at times. You know, it's all about balance. So this is the idea of no mush, no push. And it's applied to everything we do, every position we do, whether we're here, or um, if you're hitting on the dummy, you know, you're hitting on the dummy, you don't want to push it away. You never want to push someone away. You want to become part of their center. And it has to be through a structure. Back and down. Yes. Now stay back and down. Loop my click. And now advance through me. Yeah. Look how easy that is. It's <laughs> killer. Yeah. And you first feel it, you think, Oh, he's playing. Yeah. There's no way. You weigh more than that. Come on. Stop playing. Yeah. No, I'm not. That's real. It literally feels like uh, 
it doesn't feel like my body's involved at all. It feels like the energy's moving you. It's, and, and that's hard to explain in the right way. I'm probably not explaining it the right way, but... You are harnessing the power of the ground yeah. into me. You are becoming a conduit of that power. Yeah, it's just nuts. You're now learning to be back and down with your effort, so everything you're doing is coming low to high. You've connected yourself down through all, you know, through all the elements of good form of Wing Chun. Yeah. And you're not being distracted by this point anymore. Right. In order to not push, you have to not be distracted by this point. You have to go through the elbow. And the elbow is the driver. We have yeah. always said the elbow, oh, the elbow initiates things. But what it means is you don't have separate energy into the hand. Oh, so, there. Now you relax the hand, and now yeah. go ahead and come through again. Okay. Yeah, it's just. It's you know, easier. There was yeah, a little no. bit of a push in there. I don't know if you felt that. Yeah. You feel, but, and, and what you've got to do is become very, very sensitive to what pushing feels like. Yeah. And that way you can get, <clears throat> catch yourself every time. Yeah, because with the time before that, it was. I could feel it through this heel, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like I was pushing through the heel. It just felt like that was solid. That was my my stick foot. Okay. And yeah, the just, posted, posted yeah, posted foot. Posted, uh -huh. Yeah. Posted foot. You're here. You're here. Don't get distracted by this. Just think of the elbow. Stay back and down. Back and down. Back and down. And then just you're just gonna seek your front knee right through me. There we go. Look, look at me fly away. Right? That's structure. That's structure. And you're using your, your, your strongest muscles to do the work. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's always, that always amazes me. We were doing another thing like that where it was, a, it was a similar structure, but you were, it's like you were like crashing into somebody and it was just a deflect. Oh, yeah. So yeah. this is the, um, this is the, we call this the energy outside. So you're here like this, you're here, here, and this is uh, our long bridge structure, but still using all the concepts of Wing Chun. Drop this guy down. No, he's not quite down. And it has to do with this, there, now. Now he's down, you feel the difference? Oh yeah. All right, now his arm's down. Good, so now from here, I have to feel forward energy from your elbows and your knees. Now that's coming from your hand. Yeah. And yeah. that, see, uh, uh -huh. once you get into that resistance, it's hard to get back out of it. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Yes. Now during that, you're going to yield on this side because you're feeling my substantial pressure here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna yield to that. And when I say yield, I don't mean collapse because that would be mush, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> right. And I also don't mean push back against it, because that would be push. Mm -hmm. And right. boom. Oh, you're saying ton. Punch and, yep, ton da. And should I, I felt this collapse a little. So you so, got mushy on me. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. Get so mushy. Yeah.